the holy blade Brynhilde, deifacted gift of the heavens. By that name most sacred, hear my plea. Gate divine, earthly prison of accursed gods, throw wide your doors. The Great Father commands it! Is that all? I had expected something... more. Indeed. Martin, Barbus, no farther. Oh, persistent, aren't you? You seem bent on meddling in our plans. Lay down your weapons and... Save your breath, Denim. We both know that will never happen. You want to kill us. I see it in your eyes. Put down your words and take up your sword. The dead of Goliath and Rhyme deserve vengeance. It begins. What's happening? Dorgalua's legacy, you simpleton. What? You really don't know, do you? A man came to this place once, long ago. What man was this? A valiant warrior who used his strength and skill to possess all he desired. But there was one foe he could not conquer. Death. Misfortune took his beloved son, and soon after, his wife. In his despair, he prayed for their return. I need not tell you his prayers went unanswered. Overcome with wrath, he renounced his faith and sought instead the power of the Dark Gods. He descended into the hells where they make their fastness. I trust you know the legend of the Ogre Battle. The battle between men and ogres in the Age of Myths? Yes. The struggle that decided who would rule this Earth. The Gods of Light sided with men, and the Dark Gods with the Ogres. For aeons, the war raged. What is it to us? Do you know how the legend ends? Men were victorious, and the ogres retreated to the darkness, a tale every child has heard at his mother's skirts. <laughs> what do you find so amusing? It is no nursery tale. What do you mean? These ruins are the very gate to hell. The Chaos Gate. What? The man who journeyed into the Abyss is your precious Dynast King, Dogalua. I think we've finally gotten the Gate's attention. The darkness awaits, and all the power it holds. I can't let you go. Of course you can't. Which is why you must die. You'll need no gate to enter hell.
infested by, by a pack of dogs. The gate! Why won't it open? Impossible. I am Ogawa. You beasts that crawl upon the earth, kneel down before your god. A god? O Kamrenilla, sword of light, you are my rightful you. Give me the need that I may rise again. Chaos Gate must still bind him. Rejoice ye all in my return. You are a fallen king, a creature of darkness. Your wife and son await upon death's shores.
my domain. Bow low before your king, or face his wrath. Doppelgangers! Chaos Gate speaks! What power is this? Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank <laughs> you.
It's opening. We'll be pulled in. soon collapse. When it does, the Chaos Gate will cease to function. This is no place for you, Warren! Perhaps not, Denim. Farewell. Oh, great Zephyr, dance unseen. Fly across Heaven's Vale. What are you doing? In the name of the Great Father Philaha, you are hereby crowned our Sovereign Lord, Queen Vesalia Oberith, Defender of the Realm. Let no man gainsay this sanctified ascension. I will not ask you to forget all that has happened. No! We must remember why this war began, what we lost because of it, and what we achieved. We must tell this to our children, that we never forget. Kashua, you have a great task before you, sister. Why do you not heed me, brother? I know how you must feel. But what of my feelings? I don't want to lose you. Our father is dead. A hard truth. But a truth all the same. In all the world, you are the only one bound to me by blood. I couldn't bear to let you die. Forgive me. I... I know my words will not sway you. Only promise me. Promise you'll never leave your sister. I did not want to lose you, sister. Blood be damned, I will not lose you again! I'm sorry, Denim. How could I have been so selfish? Can you forgive me? That's behind us now. The important thing is that we'll never be apart again. Remember, but do not cling to the hatred. We must sever present from past. For our future, for our children. Repent for our past and dedicate ourselves to reform. Not only can we do this, we must. Let us build a future in Valeria, a future where we all live as one. A future of peace. Glory to Valeria! Thank you, Denim. Denim, I will miss you.
didn't expect the Barkram attack to come so soon. And you, the Duke's loyal, scarce equipped to march, let alone repel them. If the Barkram expect us to lie down for the trampling, they're in for a nasty turn. What? You have a plan? <laughs> no matter. I'll see soon enough. But there's little time. If you've some miracle on hand to rally the resistance, best work it quickly. I will. When next we meet, it will be as enemies full-fledged, Vice. Stay whole till then. And you, Denim. Until next time. But a man can repent. You did what you thought best. If I were a greater fool, I might have done the same. End this war, Denim. You owe the people of Balmamusa that much. Let that be your atonement. You... you have no right! No, sister. He has every right. Farewell, Denim. And you, Vice. Someday the gods may forgive you. But I haven't. Hmm. There you are, Lord Bozek. Everyone awaits you below. Thank you. I'll be there shortly. May we meet again someday, Demon. leave your side now. I understand how you must feel. You have done much. All that was required of you, and of your sisters as well. But your labors are done on the mall. Let me shoulder your burden. You can... you can do as you like for once. Live your own life, Olivia. Father... Do not be concerned on my account. All will be well. Go with him, Olivia. With him. Wait for me, Denim. I will be there soon. my promise. I saved her. Listen to me, Denim. You must save Kashua. You are the only one who can. You can lead her to her rightful destiny. Do this for us. For the... <laughs> Father! No, it is not about you. Become a stone along the path to our salvation. You must look with clear eyes, Denim. Make the right choice. 
Lead us along the true path. Make our way. Do this. Only this. You mustn't talk. You, you must rest. Tell him. Forgive me. Father! I leave the rest to you, sister. You'll do fine. You hardly need my help. Your coronation should be taking place in Heim about now. Monarch of Valeria in name and truth. <laughs> Canopus has gone back home, taking Brynhilde with him. I owe you my thanks for a great many things, Denim. No, we would never have prevailed without your help, Canopus. <laughs> That's good to hear. And I'm sure Lancelot and Old Warren would be happy to hear it, if they were still with us. Hmm. We don't know they're dead, Canopus. Don't you worry about it, Denim. It's not your fault they're gone. We came to this isle of our own will, you know. We were here on royal duty, after all. We were here to fight alongside you. But, I should imagine you're right. They're out there, somewhere. Uh, tide's right. High time we set sail. Farewell, Denim. I look forward to seeing you again one of these days. So long, Sprout. Our best to the Queen. But, Canopus, if Lancelot should return, I... It's all right, Denim. It's all right. Look, when things settle down here, you should come to Zenobia. We'll be waiting for you. Come, see the place Lancelot was born. The place he gave his life for. Promise me you'll come. I will. Ah, no looks from you now. Time to be a man, boy. Ah, that's right. Give a grin. Things aren't as bleak as they seem. <laughs> now where have I heard that before? Hey, who was laughing when Martin planted you in the ground like a potato? Anyone ever tell you you'd look good on a skewer, bird legs? Anyone ever tell you you'd look good hanging off the bow, catching barnacles in your beard? <laughs> it's not just my sister. Many have gone their own ways since the war's end. A friend left Heim recently. So you'll be returning to Lotus, then? Lancelot and Balsifan escaped. I'll chase them to the ends of the Earth, should it come to that. You don't think it risky, going back alone? I've managed this far, haven't I? No doubt Lotus is more dangerous than when I left, but I'll do nothing foolish. I will sit back and wait until the time is right. But... Before I go... Yes? I wanted to tell you how glad I was to meet you. To accomplish so much at your side. I couldn't have chosen a better ally. Mm. I had forgotten what it was to dream. I allowed revenge to consume my life.
My time with you changed all that. With our first victory, it was as though a blackness lifted from my heart. I'll never forget the joy I felt at that. There's a sweetness to it I hope to taste again. So I will move with caution that I may make it so. And I promise, someday we will meet again. Fortune favor you, Hoberon. Aye, may she favor us both. So it's true. You're leaving. Figured it was time. I'm not wanting for coin, eh? Besides, <laughs> with the war over, there's nothing for a mercenary to do but watch his blade rust. Thought I'd see the continent. Probably won't ever make it back to Valeria. Abuna Maruva was lamenting the loss of the captain of the Heimgard. It's not a bad post. The pay is good, and the city could use a reliable man in charge until things settle down. Not another word. You've got the wrong man for the job, boy. Sure, it might be what the city needs. But I'm no spring goose. I can't stay in my line of work forever. Even still. Yes? I look at you young ones and, well, I start thinking maybe the world isn't ready to be thrown out with the night soil. Start thinking maybe I ought to be lending you a hand. Ha! I say something funny? I admit, you're the last person I thought would go sentimental on me. Sentimental? Oh, I'll give you sentimental! Uh, joking, only joking. Ah, be well, boy. You too, Zapan. You're leaving with these children for Almorica, then? They were born of Wallace to parents. The war may be over, but many still harbor doubts about the other clans. I think it best that these orphans were somewhere other than I. <sighs> the people must put aside such foolish fears. And they will. You'll see to that, I've no doubt. But these changes can't happen overnight. The Great Father might leap from mountain to mountain, but we move one step at a time. Will the Great Father lift the scales from their eyes? No good hoping for miracles. They're an illusion, however sweet. The change we seek is born one day at a time. Any who can't be thankful for the days they have are unworthy of miracles. Take these children. The war claimed their parents, but not their future. They have hope. It's you who gave them that denim. I have no doubt the seed you've sown will bloom and bear fruit. I, for one, look forward to that day. As do I. Must be going, Father. There's a journey I must make before Lotus returns. I want to see Lancelot's homeland, the kingdom he gave his life for. Who goes there? Friends of the Resistance, and no friends of yours. The Resistance? I expected a warmer welcome than this. <laughs> They're children. Wait. Do you even know who we are? You're Lancelot. And that makes you my enemy. Uh, 
Lancelot is my name, true. How is it that you know me? It's been four, five years now, before the war with the Empire. They advanced, and we fled, vagrants in our own land. My wife fell ill, and before I knew it, she was gone. I considered following her into death. My thoughts often strayed down that path before battle, but her music box still sang of life, and I knew it was not my time. My burden had not yet reached its end. Uh, I'm sorry. One young as you should never be forced to fight. But that's not the world we live in. Don't worry over me, father. I'll be back. Sure, it's going to shore. We sail for Lodis. 